receptions for 104 yards and, a, and one touchdown so far in the first half. Giants burn their final timeout of the half with one minute remaining. So we, you were talking earlier about this passing attack, Danny. The, the Cowboys averaged about 6.6 air yards in weeks one through five. The last three games, they've averaged not quite 10 air yards per, per attempt, which is fourth most during that span. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's it's uh, incredible what has taken place in the last two weeks, and the Giants aren't doing anything today, and probably won't, to slow that down. Shotgun snap to Prescott, spins back to the outside again. Flag is down. This is probably going to be a hold. It looks like Tyron Smith getting locked up with Kevon Thibodeau over there. Yeah, and he grabbed grabbed him as as Prescott left the pocket changed directions the rusher Holy changes directions offense number 77 that penalty is declined will be third down first penalty of the day for the Cowboys a great article by the way on Tyron Smith from the Dallas Morning News this week talking about his hand strength and the, the, the grip strength, his hand size, but the power that he possesses with that left hand, Danny. Talking to both current coaches, former coaches, former players, guys that he has put on the, on the sideline as a result of the power that he possesses with that left hand. One of the reasons he's an eight-time Pro Bowler. Well, the grip got the best of him that time, <laughs> but, but you know what? He'd rather... It, it's... it's Dallas. It's a matter of grabbing a hold of the guy or letting him hit your quarterback. Right. And and I'll take grabbing him any day over letting somebody hit his quarterback. And you got to love that about him. Yeah, Nick Thibodeau coming in with leading their team in sacks with eight and a half as the Cowboys will burn their timeout. 58 seconds left. They'll have one remaining. They're facing a second and 19 back at the 20 yard line. Well, he had Thibodeau in that death grip. Yeah. And but it, but it was a legal death grip in that you've got your hands on the inside of his shoulder pads. When Prescott broke the pocket and Thibodeau tried to turn and run, he held on to him with his left hand. And you're talking about his the grip strength in his left hand yeah. being his outside hand. And man, it was it just turned into a hole. But it was the best alternative. Shotgun snapper Prescott winds throws. Pass is low, but caught by CeeDee Lamb at the 10. Darnay Holmes there on coverage. That one goes for nine. Prescott threw a fastball, and that is just inches off the I'll turf. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that, you know, that'll just go down as a 12 or whatever it was, yard catch. That's one of the greatest catches you'll ever see right there. Yeah. The third and nine they can actually get a first down right at the one yard line he goes with an empty set here flush out of the pocket scrambling prescott will cut in untouched he says thank you very much if you're going to cover all my receivers i'll take it in for my second rushing touchdown of the season well there, there's a flag on the play but but that's just the problem with man-to-man -man coverage they're all locked up on There's their no guy. On the play for contact. Both the play is a touchdown. Well, there's no flag on the play for anything. <laughs> so I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they have to say no flag on the play for holding or no fl <laughs> no flag on the play for anything. So it's just a, everybody's locked up. Thibodeau was being held, but they didn't call it. And Danny, I, I know we've. And, well, you, you look at the replay, and Thibodeau probably has a little bit of an argument yeah. right there. But, you know, we, we've talked about it. Dak Prescott and his willingness to be a, a runner again this year. And you don't want to continue to harp on it, but last year 
he likely would have continued to wait and hold on to that football and try to squeeze it in somewhere. Well, he, did he was not just wanna, so reluctant to try to run the football. He did not want to get out in the open field, and, and it's coming back. It's slowly but surely you can see it, and having been there and done it, I, I know what that feels like. When you get out of that pocket and get all those friendly bodies away from you and your your open game, so to speak, yeah. It's, it can be it can be frightening because you don't know if you see everybody. Somebody might come out of nowhere and just blast you. Hit, put their helmet in your ear hole. Well, they used to could do that. They can't do that anymore. But <laughs> but now, still, you can get take a shot from somebody that you didn't even see. It's a little bit scary being out there when you're used to being surrounded by all those bodies. Aubrey will get it lined up here. is going to elect to bring it from five yards deep. A little stutter step of the five. Cuts back at the 10 of the 15, 20, 25. Inside the numbers at the 30 is where he is tripped up. So it gives him a little better field position as we pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the NFL on Compass Media Networks. We're home for NFL Sunday all season long. And Hayes the Great Bend is KXNC, Mess City, 104.7, KISS FM. Hubert Starnes, our crack statistician, just showing me the magic whiteboard. Last three drives, the Cowboys have generated 235 total yards. As Tommy DeVito will just take an E and close out the half. It's been all Cowboys. Tommy DeVito says, thank you very much for that <laughs> kneel down. <laughs> 28 to nothing, our score here at the break at AT&T. When we return, Jerry Recco will rejoin us for the Coles Halftime Report. He'll bring the latest scores from around the league, plus the first half stats and highlights. You're listening to the NFL on Compass Media Networks. of Hayes. Don't wait until the chill sets in. Our skilled technicians are standing by to make sure your home is ready for the changing season. Schedule your plumbing and heating system checkup now and experience worry-free comfort all season long. Work heating, plumbing, and air conditioning of Hayes. Don't because you're worth it. Carbon monoxide, or CO, is a silent killer. It's a deadly gas with no scent, color, or taste. Common CO sources are gas furnaces, propane space heaters, gas grills, and portable generators used indoors, and exhaust from automobiles. It's important to make sure you have a working CO detector in your home. Change your CO detector's batteries each year and check your detector's expiration date and replace as needed. A safety message from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. 